In this lecture, we're going to discuss combining our convex and concave lenses. So many different types of optical instruments exist that use a combination of lenses. For example, microscope and telescopes use a combination of lenses. And we're going to discuss these instruments in more detail in future lectures. So, Various optical instruments typically use a combination of two or more lenses. Suppose we have a system of two lenses. In such a case, the image that is formed by lens number one serves as the object for lens number two. Now, the total magnification of the two lenses is the product of the individual magnifications of our two lenses. So, to see exactly what we mean, let's look at the following example. Suppose we have a system of two convex lenses, each with a focal length of 30 centimeters, which are placed a distance of uh, 100 centimeters apart. Now, an object is placed 60 centimeters to the left of lens number one. We want to calculate the image distance of the final image produced by these two lenses and the total magnification of our system of two lenses. So, let's begin by first looking at lens number one. So, we have lens number one, our object is placed 60 centimeters to the left of lens number one. This is the focal length of, or this is the focal point of lens number one. So first we want to determine what the image distance is for the image produced by lens number one. So let's apply the thin lens equation. One divided by the focal length of lens one is equal to one divided by the object distance for lens 1 plus 1 divided by the image distance for lens 1. This is what we're looking for. So let's rearrange our equation. 1 divided by our image distance for lens 1, what we're looking for is equal to 1 divided by the focal length of lens 1 minus 1 divided by the object distance for lens 1. So what exactly is the focal length of lens 1? Well, it's equal to positive uh, 30 centimeters. And the reason it's positive is because we're dealing dealing with a convex or a converging lens. Now what is our object distance? Well the object distance is positive 60 centimeters. It's positive because it's found on the same side. The object shown in purple is found on the same side as where the light actually originates. So, 1 divided by what we're looking for is equal to 1 divided by 30 centimeters minus 1 divided by 60 centimeters. So, this is equal to, we have 2 divided by 60 minus 1 divided by 60, that gives us 1 divided by 60. So, our focal length, or actually our image distance for our lens 1 is equal to 60 centimeters and it's positive so that means our image produced by lens number 1 is found on the right side on the opposite side of lens number 1 as compared to where our object is located so now we can use this to basically determine the magnification produced by lens 1. So magnification of lens 1 M1 is equal to negative of the image distance of lens 1 divided by the object distance of lens 1. So this was calculated to be positive 60 centimeters. So we have negative multiplied by 60 centimeters divided by 60 centimeters because this distance is also also 60 centimeters. So, so we see that the magnification of lens 1 is negative 1.0. So the size of our image produced by lens number 1 is essentially the same as our object. Now, let's move on to part two. In part two, now we want to use the first image as the object for lens number two. So now, our object distance becomes the distance from the center of lens number two to where our first image is formed. 
Now we know this distance is 60 and the total distance between our two lenses is 100. So this distance, the distance from the first image to our center of lens number two is 100 minus 60, which gives us 40. So we apply the thin lens equation once more. So one divided by the focal length of lens two is equal to one divided by the object distance for lens two, which is equal to 40 plus one divided by the image distance of lens two, what we're looking for. So once again, we rearrange our equation, we get this, and we solve. One divided by 30 centimeters, our focal length for lens two, it's positive because we're dealing with a convex lens. Now, the object distance is 40 centimeters, so one divided by 30 minus one divided by 40, that gives us 120 centimeters. So, our image distance, our final image distance from lens 2 to our final image is 120 centimeters as shown in the following diagram. Now, let's actually calculate the magnification of lens 2 given by M2. So, we use the same exact equation. So, we have M2 is equal to negative of the image distance of lens 2 2 minus divided by our object distance of lens 2. So negative 120 centimeters divided by 40 centimeters gives us negative 3. So now to calculate the total magnification of our system of two lenses, we simply multiply M1 by M2. So negative 1 multiplied by negative 3 gives us positive 3. So this basically means that our final image size is three times of our object, our initial object. So, the final image is found 120 centimeters away from lens number two, to the right of lens number two. So because our rays of light actually go through the final image, that basically means our image is real, and notice that our image is upright.